name is Marilyn Lowe, and I am the Tan Yard Neighborhood Association President of that area. I live downtown in this area, south of the Dillard Street. Are you all uh, familiar with this area, any of you all? I want you all to know that I live in the heart of the plant, the sewage plant downtown. It has been relocated on the north end, but we have a pump station in that area, and I was kind of reluctant to come down here this afternoon. But when I was on my way up Palafox Street last week, and I seen some signs out there trying to just making sure that they don't have a plant in that area, I tell you, this is a serious problem, okay? Because our neighborhood has endured this for over 50 years. Okay, we moved into that area back in the 60s, okay? And ever since we been down there in this area, we have been smelling this waste, okay? It has not went away. Although the sewage plant has been moved, but we can still smell it in our area, okay? When there's a flood in that area, you can almost see the waste in that area all down there, okay? So if, but for right now, since they decided to redevelop that area for their own purposes, Delaying where the old sewage plant said, they are working on it today. But I still tell you that it's toxic waste in that area because I was called by someone, told me last week. They said, Mrs. Lowe, we need you to go around on Government Street and check out the toxic that is coming from the ground because there are some serious problems down there, okay? We have had to smell this. People say it's got sick. I want you to know. It may not be told to you, People say it's got sick down there in that area, had got cancer, has died, and nobody wants to talk about it. We haven't had no one to represent us in that area for quite some time, okay? So we have had to sit there and take this. But we don't have to take this type of behavior from no one. Because when we elect people and put them in place and they're supposed to represent us, we need to make sure that they represent us, okay? And if they don't represent us, we need to send them a message that we're not voting for you to sit in those seats and get paid and do nothing. Because it's important to, that our health, you may not think so, but your health is all you got. And once you lose it, it is gone. And we need someone to care about us instead of pushing it back on the back table, making it okay. We need to tell them it is, no, it, it is not okay to come into our community and sit these plants there in the tops of, uh, in the ground, coming up out of the ground and people are getting sick from lead poison. And I was also told last week about the crossing of the sewage lines and the water lines downtown. The reason why they placed in brand new pipelines downtown, because there's a problem, okay? We don't know what is really going on because people may have lead in their pot and their bodies. I was told that my son had 50% lead in his body today. And it makes you wonder why. And the only reason why is we've been living there and taking this in for a long time, people. Taking it in not knowing. You go to the doctor and wonder what's wrong with you. That is what's wrong with you. You're sick because of the situation that you've been put in, okay? Yep. And we need to step up and tell the, our, 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 our leaders that we're not going to put up with it anymore, okay? We need to come to those meetings and listen to what's being said and let them know that we want some action, okay? We need action. Thank you all.